Hi guys, Annabelle here from Horizon Cosplay, and I know what you're all thinking. Annabelle, your makeup hasn't changed since the last video. Did you film this on the same day as your other Hannah Alexander book review? Well, funny you should ask, because no, it's just that I'm overly consistent with how I do my makeup. Lies, it's definitely the same day. I just had to go out and do some things that required me to look a little more professional than a Batman t-shirt really allows. And you know what? I look nice, so I'm not changing back. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about Cosplay Concepts Volume 2 by Hannah Alexander, so let's do that! So, immediate disclaimer, I love Hannah's designs and I'm not criticising them in any way, however, with this book, I do kind of feel she cheated. Now, I love this book and I'm very happy to own it. If you want your own copy of this book, I will link her Etsy shop in the description below, along with my own Etsy shop where you can find very cool cosplay t-shirts and 3D prints available now. Now this book is self-published by her, coming out a year after Volume 1, and the copy I own here is a first edition. But back to the reason I feel she cheated, she reused quite a lot of designs from her first book. Now there are other characters in here as well, new ones and original ones, her Ghibli Girl collection is in this and Ida is one of my favourite designs series that she has ever done. And the main thing I love about this book, which makes it way better than the first one in my opinion, is that we get to know Hannah and her design process so much better. The book starts off with an introduction about the artist followed by a list of tools that she uses, along with some advice on if you want to use them yourself, which is absolutely perfect for anyone and everyone who wants to try doing their own designs. We then get a great look into her own design process before seeing the final piece of art. One of her new design series in this book is her DC superhero girls, including not one, but two versions of Harley Quinn. Throughout this book, she has a lot more double page spreads showing her designs and the costume details, along with little tips and tricks of how to illustrate them and make them in costume. She includes things like recommended patterns, recommended fabric, tips on beading or embroidery, or suggestions if you just want to draw it on. She also seems to have abandoned the pages with lots and lots of little pictures, which was my main issue with book one. She has two pages illustrating how she colours in all her designs, and a whole other page talking about what cosplay is and showing various photos of people cosplaying her work. And then the best bit! In the back of the book is a thank you note from Hannah, and then a blank model that you can use to design your own costumes. It's actually something I've used a hell of a lot, photocopying it and then using the various photocopies to design my costumes and put them up on my pinboard so that I know in my head what I'm doing. And hopefully when book 3 eventually comes out she'll include a male one of this that we can use as well. Let me know down below in the comments if you've cosplayed any of her designs and what you guys think of her books. And don't forget to give this video a like on your way out if you want to see more cosplay book reviews. Until next Wednesday guys, have a beautiful day!